Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at Semiank AF 35mm f1.8 for Sony E-mount. 35mm f1.8 is in my opinion one of the most versatile types of lenses. Semiank's 35mm f1.8 is very compact and budget friendly, so in this video we will take a look at how it works with Sony a7 III and we will also push it to the limits with a very demanding 61 megapixel sensor in Sony a7R4. 35mm is a very neutral focal length. It offers a good balance between wideish field of view and emphasis on the subject. It is useful for anything from landscapes and cities to environmental portraits and even some types of product photography. It is also the most popular focal length for street and reportage photography. As I mentioned, a f 35mm f1.8 is a very compact lens. It is just 63.5mm long and it weighs 210 grams. The size in combination with the focal length also makes it an ideal walk-around lens. Mounted on any Sony camera, it is very well balanced because this weight is basically negligible. The build quote is pretty good. It feels as solid as it can at 210 grams. The surface finish is very nice and I also like the minimalistic design of Semiank AF lenses. It isn't the most premium feeling lens, but there is nothing wrong with the build quality either. Despite the size, this lens is weather sealed. The mount is metal and there is a rubber gasket around the mount. That is very nice to see in this category, so big thumbs up for that. Regarding the control elements, there is the focusing ring and a function switch. Focusing ring is surprisingly nice. It is a focus by wire system of course, but the ring has a very reasonable amount of resistance. The focus throw is also well judged and the response is linear. Manual focusing with this lens is a rather pleasant experience in combination with excellent display and reliable focus picking on A7R4. Custom switch lets you choose the functionality of the ring. In mode 1 it is a normal focusing ring. Mode 2 changes it to an aperture ring. It allows you to change the aperture in one third of a stop increment. That is a great idea, so big thumbs up for that. The lens hood is included in the box. It is a basic plastic lens hood, but it does the job. Semiang lenses also come with a carry case for extra protection during the transportation, which is a nice touch. So how about the optical qualities? First, let's take a look at the performance with a 24 megapixel sensor in Sony a7 III. The central sharpness is very solid right from f1.8. The contrast is a little bit low and there is some chromatic aberration. At f2, the sharpness is already very good and so is the contrast. The chromatic aberration is almost gone. There is a tiny improvement in contrast at f2.8. Beyond that, you will get excellent sharpness until f8. At f11, we can see a decrease of contrast caused by the diffraction. The corner sharpness on 24 megapixel sensor is basically as good as the central sharpness. That is very impressive. It is very solid right from f1.8. There is a significant increase of contrast at f2.8. F4, F5.6 and F8 offer excellent corner sharpness. Again, there is some diffraction at F11. Overall, these are really good results in combination with 24 megapixel sensor. So now let's move on to much more demanding 61 megapixel sensor. The central sharpness at F1.8 is very good, but the contrast is a bit low and we can see some chromatic aberration. Central sharpness at f2.8 is excellent. The contrast is also very solid, but there is still some amount of chromatic aberration. That decreases until f5.6, but it isn't that big of a deal if you are not zooming to 300%. f8 still looks great, and the diffraction starts at f11. The corner sharpness is again very impressive. The resolution is excellent right from f1.8. The contrast is a bit lower and there is some noise caused by the profile corrections as I've explained in my previous lens reviews. Corners look great at f2.8. 
The sharpness is almost perfect, there is plenty of contrast and the profile noise is basically gone. There is a tiny improvement at f4 which is basically perfect. f5.6 and f8 look the same so again perfect. As usual the chromatic aberration starts at f11. Overall I am very happy with the optical qualities of this little lens, especially with 61 megapixel sensor. f1.8 is definitely usable for subject separation or for low light. Corner sharpness from f2.8 is very impressive. Considering the size of this lens I might even say fantastic. Real world images are just as impressive. The micro contrast is very high so the pictures are really nice and punchy. I generally like the rendition of this lens, there isn't any color shift either so I am very happy in this regard. There is some amount of distortion and vignetting but it doesn't seem to affect the corner image quality too much. This amount is in my opinion perfectly acceptable considering the size of this lens and the images simply look good after the profile corrections. The bokeh is a bit of tricky subject with 35mm f1.8 lenses. At f1.8 you can achieve pronounced subject separation even at this relatively wide angle. This lens has 9 aperture blades and the bokeh is in my opinion very decent. The transitions between areas in focus and out of focus are reasonably smooth as well. I can say that I am very happy with the bokeh. You just can't expect 85mm f1.4 level of separation. Minimum focus distance is 29cm which translates to 0.17 times magnification. That is an average value but it is still enough for wrist shots. If you want very good close up image quality you will also have to stop down at least to f2.8. The semi macro capabilities of this lens aren't bad but they are also not outstanding. The autofocus is generally very good in combination with a7R4 and a7 III. I haven't had any issues with accuracy or hunting even when focusing from close distance to infinity or in the low light. Backlit situations are also not an issue. It may not be as snappy as the fastest focusing lenses but you won't really notice the difference in the real world use. In video it basically works just as well. It is always accurate even in the more difficult situations. There is no hunting even in the low light. The speed and responsiveness depend on the settings which have a very significant impact on Sony cameras so make sure to check those out. 35mm f1.8 is naturally not optically stabilized. Fortunately the in-body image stabilization in both a7R4 and a7 III is more than sufficient at 35mm focal length. That is especially important on a7R4 because with this kind of resolution you will see any imperfection. This lens is very light, the whole combination only weighs 875 grams so it is not the most stable combination but the in-body image stabilization is still sufficiently effective. This lens exhibits quite a significant amount of focus breathing. That means that when it is focusing it will also zoom a little bit. That is probably a compromise necessary to make this lens so small and it is an acceptable compromise in my opinion. Last but not least the price to performance ratio of this lens is excellent. Especially the optical performance is exceptional in this price category. This is actually one of the lenses that make crop sensor cameras and lenses a bit of a tough sale. For example it isn't any larger or more expensive than similar micro four thirds lenses but its optical performance in combination with any full frame camera is in a different league. To sum up I can say that I am very happy with this lens. It definitely surpassed my expectations. The optical performance with a 61 megapixel sensor is particularly impressive. F1.8 is definitely usable for subject separation and for the low light. From f2.8 you will get excellent sharpness across the frame. Compact size and light weight make the optical qualities even more impressive. I also appreciate the weather sealing and very decent dual purpose ring. I haven't had any issues with the autofocus either. 
Basically, the only weaknesses are, in my opinion, some amount of chromatic aberration and the focus breathing, which is, in my opinion, a very reasonable compromise to achieve that compact size. Semiang AF 35mm f1.8 is, in my opinion, a very well performing compact lens with a fair pricing, which means that I can recommend it basically to all E mount users looking for a solid 35mm walk around lens. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you have found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.